everyone. Welcome to another edition of Yarny Good News, number 19. I'm your fill-in host, Kim, from Affordably Crafty, holding down the fort for Madonna. Today, on edition 19, 19, oof. The days of today is, well, National Cherry Jubilee Day and National Punctuation Day, question mark. Exclamation. <laughs> um, some new and struggling channels. Unchained Crochet has 549 followers. She has a Facebook group, an Instagram, and a YouTube. She teaches design skills about how to create your own crochet designs. And she's a left-handed hooker. So she has right and left hand playlists, which is cool. Then there's Crochet Every Day with Judy. Um, she has 109 subscribers, um, and she's been on for a couple weeks now. Go check her out. Terry Makes Crochet. She's got 75 subscribers. Let's go and give her some support. Love this yarn, Tess. Tess has been very active in the lives and chats lately. Um, she's a fellow SPED educator like myself, and I'm just happy to support her. She's at 155 subscribers, and right now she has a 100 subscriber giveaway video up. The drawing is going to be tonight or tomorrow, Friday the 25th. Um, so let's all hop over to Love This Yarn and support Tess. Then I found a very interesting um, fiber family through Fiber Floozy. Thank you, Jill. Um, Hurley's Hand Dyed Yarn. She has 412 subscribers. So she does tumblers and she also hand dyes her own yarn. She has um, an Etsy, ambersyarnshop.etsy.com. And her mom hand dyes. She's Crystal Skies hand dyed on Etsy. I'll link all these things below in the description box. And then her sister is Dragon Horde Yarn Company. If you are at all geek like me, into science fiction, fantasy, and all things um, like that, definitely check out Dragon Horde Yarn. She has lines related to Harry Potter. Um, Game of Thrones, even like brand new stuff like uh, the Adventures of, can't remember the exact name, but the Sabrina horror series on Netflix, um, cool stuff. And then her other sister also hand dyes, um, I'll try and link that down below, but yeah, really cool hand dyeing family, and when, when Hurley's hand dyed goes live, um, her mom is also on there at the same time, so that's Crystal's skies hand dyed. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then just to add something to the live um, times down below, Yarn Geek is live at 5 a.m. Central Standard Time every day. Yes, even on the weekend. I tend to join Monday through Friday when I'm getting ready for work. On the weekends I like to sleep in. Um, and she's on for about two hours each time. And it's a really good group of people. Go and check it out. I will add that to the live schedule down below. Um, and then tomorrow, the 25th on Friday, we have the um, event happening with Dana's Wanderlust Crochet and Carrie the Yarny Elephant, which is hashtag Wiggly Trivet. Um, Dana has a tutorial, I believe, online about how to make the grid for the bottom of the trivet if you want to do that ahead of time. And they're going to have a Zoom today, or sorry, Zoom on Friday from 10 a.m. to 1. Although I'm not sure if Kerry or Dana are hosting it or what time, what time zone it's going to be in. I'll try and find that out and link it down below. And then the hashtag promoting fiber arts group. Um, the hashtag September fiber arts is creating a beginner crochet kit. <clears throat> Um, hold on, let me grab mine and I'm going to show you what's in it. Okay, so hashtag September Fiber Arts. This is my kit that I put together. Um, it's actually in one of my favorite things to find at a thrift store, which is people when they get like shoes 
or um, sometimes makeup stuff, they get these free bags. They usually have drawstrings. So there's one. Here's another one that I had gotten. And then there's a nice green one that says, I don't know what that says on there. It says something. Um, but that was four of them for, I think, two bucks stapled together at Savers. Um, so I love those for little project bags, but they actually make the perfect thing to put beginner crochet kits in. So I'm going to show you what's in mine. Mine has a notebook I got from Dollar Tree. And in the front, I just wrote a note that says, Hello, new fiber friends. I am so happy you're about to begin your fiber journey. Here are a few of my favorite beginner crochet YouTube channels. And then I listed them. And then I said, if you have any questions, you can email me at affordablycrafty at gmail.com. Um, and I'm going to put that in there. And now you can use any fiber art you want to. Yep, so I also included a couple of um, beginner booklets. I got one's from Hobby Lobby, one's from Michael. So this is just general yarn crafting. Figured it might help them catch the yarny bug. And then I also included this beginner, kind of beginner, um, crochet market bag from Michaels. Um, and then in here, I also obviously included some hooks and I gave them this little notions bag and inside the notions bag. Okay. So inside the notions bag, I have included obviously some hooks. So I gave them this five millimeter hook I had gotten from darn good yarn. And when Michaels had their hooks recently on clearance, the loops and threads, I got some of those with the intention of putting them in these crochet bags. And I got a 10 millimeter hook. And you need something that they can cut the yarn with. So I had gotten these on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So I just included this yarn cutter. I thought that was nice. It was only 74 cents. And I also included a row counter that I had gotten for free off Facebook Marketplace and a plastic um, tapestry needle, which I had gotten in a huge package when I ordered some for my daughter. This kind of tape measure, because I didn't have any retractable ones, and a few um, stitch markers, the kind I like to use a lot are the locking stitch markers. And then for the yarn, when I first started learning, I started learning on bulky yarn. I really liked that. So I have included some of this um, super bulky yarn from Yarn Bee, True Colors. And that is what the 10 millimeter hook is for. And then I also included some Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton, which is what the five millimeter hook is for. Um, so that they can, you know, make kitchen stuff or just play around. So that is what is in my crochet, beginner crochet kit. And again, it's hashtag September Fiber Arts. Um, and I purposely did not include any wool or animal in it because people have allergies. Here, I learned crochet. Why are my hands breaking out? No fun. So the dates we have coming up that involve fiber arts are October 1st is spinning and weaving day. And October 10th is I Love Yarn Day. Of course, I love yarn every day. I know you guys do too. And then I have a couple of yarny fun um, things to do um, that I do every month. And the first is Have a Yarn with Charlie does uh, Yarn Bingo the last uh, day of the month, every month. And what you need to do is you need to choose five numbers and comment below on her channel, I will link um, the video for this month. And comment below that video your five numbers. Take a screenshot or write them down so you can find them easily when it's time for the yarn bingo. And then the first person to get all five wins. And sometimes she draws some extra numbers for like a secondary prize. Um, and that's really fun. Good group of people there that's the last day of the month she does a live where she does the yarn bingo and then llama mama kayla runs also called yarn bingo so yarn bingo squared um this is for fun and it helps me to get more things done and try different projects it's set up in a bingo card 
and there's lots of different things you can do on it. So some of them are like repeaters, like finish a whip, um, start a blanket, and then a lot of the stuff changes every month. So this month I think on there is start a Halloween costume, um, make something for fall. It's a lot of fun, and it's just a fun Facebook group community thing to do with Yarny people. And I will link her Facebook group um, down below and take a screenshot of this month's card and insert it here. So this is what the Llama Mama Kayla September Yarn Bingo card looks like, and I'll just go through what there is. There's finish a whip, create a new or recycled Christmas ornament, work on a Halloween costume, try amigurumi, sorry, ar argumi, argumoi, not sure, blanket in progress, create a fall autumn project, create a project from yarn you would not normally gravitate to. So I'm working on something in thread crochet because I am a four, five, six lover. Finish a whip, recheck your Christmas list. Crochet faster. Create something for Thanksgiving. There is a really awesome um, amigurumi turkey farmer and then the fall crochet world magazine that I'm hopefully going to get to. Time to create for Halloween. So my son wants to be Spider-Man, so I'm going to be working on that. Finish a whip, free space, put together a starter project kit for a special person. Hashtag September Fiber Arts. Make a pair of slippers or slipper socks. Create something in blue. Create something blue, make something to donate. A Christmas gift, item for a man, finish a whip. Share fall patterns. Make a suggestion for October. Share a cow for October, finish a whip, or make something for the kitchen. That again is September yarn. Actually, um, just one announcement about myself. So I have uh, gotten a P.O. box, and that will be linked down below and also on my newest videos. So I'm super happy about that. Um, so now for the prayers. We have an addition. We have Tammy Slay from Slay the Day with Crochet, her mom um, has a tumor in her liver. So that's the only addition I have this month for the prayers. So we're going to do this similarly, similarly to how I did it last month. I have in this bowl, I have the names of the people on the prayer list. And we're just going to take a moment of contemplation, prayer, and silence to send some positive energy to those who need healing, okay? I'm going to hold my bowl and I am going to think about... All the things that are needed for healing on this list and everywhere in the world in the Yarny community to come to those who need it. Thank you, everyone. So... That's it for Yarny Good News number 19. See you back here um, next Thursday. Have a creative day, everyone. Bye. Hey, guys. Sorry this is going up on Friday a day late. Uh, my toddler thought that my phone needed to go for a swim in the toilet, so I had to put it in rice last night. And this is where the videos were. I had not uploaded them to iMovie yet, and I didn't have anything else to film on. So sorry that it's a day late. Um, terrible twos are terrible. All right. <laughs> Have a creative day, everyone. Bye.